When I'm building projects, I'm often working with GitHub Action workflow files and GitHub Copilot files such as custom instructions or different prompts. And when I'm inside of Visual Studio, they're a little hidden. You have to add them manually. You have to go and open the folder explorer and create the files there. There's an extension that's gonna change the way that you work with these files forever. So let's take a look. So here I am inside of my feedback flow application. I have a bunch of different projects like an Aspire app host, functions, a web app, test projects, and a lot more. Then I've also added the solution items folder. So since this is a solution explorer, I have to add the solution items folder inside of here. I can have multiple folders, of course, but they're really specific to the solution. This isn't like a file inside of my folder, but I can kind of add different files in here to kind of manage them. So get ignore, directory packages, get version, and readme. Now, what's fascinating here is that when I'm working with GitHub Copilot inside of VS Code, I have a file explorer and a solution explorer with the C Sharp dev kit. So if I actually look at this folder, what's nice is if I open in VS Code, I have my .aspire, my .github, VS, VS Code, my docs, my ideas. I basically have all these different folders inside of here. And the .github folder is really important. It has things like my chat modes, my prompts, my workflows, for example, and a whole bunch of stuff in here especially my copilot instructions. So I could add a dot GitHub, like new, you know, add new full solution folder and then say dot GitHub. Now this isn't actually my dot GitHub folder though. It's actually a solution folder. So it gets a little complicated. So there's an easy way of actually seeing all of these files with just an awesome extension. So I'm going to go into manage extensions and we're going to browse for file explorer. There it is, File Explorer by Mads Christensen, the one and only. So File Explorer is pretty fantastic because what it enables us to do is actually browse, you guessed it, all of our files inside of our solution, basically. So I can see everything all in one place, including my source code and my .github folders. That's super duper nice. So let's go ahead and install this here and let's see what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and close this down. Once I click install, save it here. And then we'll get the pop-up for Visual Studio to install our extension. So if you've never installed an extension before, it's really simple. It downloads this VizX file, installs it here, and it takes a few seconds. All right, it's installed. So let's go ahead and relaunch Visual Studio here. And I'm going to open up my feedback flow application. And this is an application that I completely wrote 100% with GitHub Copilot. I maybe wrote about 100 lines of code or so. So this is really important because I'm working with all these prompt files and all these custom modes and, of course, my custom instructions. So here we go. Let me go ahead and pin my solution explorer here. Now, this is beautiful. I still have my solution item, so I can have them here. But I see my feedback flow folder and sure enough when i drop it down i love that mads even put in little icons so i can have this here i can have my mcp folders i've got my launch settings inside of here i can have my dot github and there's my chat modes there's my copilot instructions and a whole lot more and i love that i can just see the markdown side by side too so i can just see everything right here directly inside of visual studio so this is super nice when referencing folders and files and a lot more and of course now working with the dotnet aspire CLI have that all at my fingertips. So this is great when working in everything. I can see so many more files on one. So this just takes a few seconds to install. It makes working with GitHub Copilot inside of Visual Studio a breeze. Big shout out to Matt for all of his awesome extensions and of course all of the extension creators inside of Visual Studio. This extension has really changed how I work with actions and specifically how I work with GitHub Copilot. So I'm always modifying these different files when I'm going between Visual Studio and VS Code and it just makes it easy to have the same way of accessing them. Give it an install today. I'll put links in the show notes. Or you can just search for File Explorer right there inside of Visual Studio. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, and of course, Thanks for watching.